Hey, what's up guys? Just got back from Morris Mountain yesterday. Had the uh, first ride in <clears throat> the new machine and it did absolutely amazing. It is so much different than anything I've ever driven before. It, uh, it's going to be incredible. H did an amazing job on it, but I just wanted to do a quick video walk around of it. Um, it is based off of a 2019 Turbo S. It's 72 inches wide. The wheelbase is 103. And H Craft Customs in Buford, Georgia assembled it, built it. Basically a turnkey uh, build. But he did an amazing job on it. Uh, just got through washing it. And um, so much easier to clean than a full body too, which is going to be nice. But uh, I just want to go over some stuff that I did to it. Um, I've got uh, MRT uh, crawler tires on it. STI HD9 beadlock wheels. Uh, I've got H-Craft lower A-arms. Uh, L and W Fab upper A arms, some cheap Amazon lights. H was able to incorporate the Fang lights into it, which is really neat. And of course, RCV axles. Um, I'll never run anything but RCV. Their tagline is "strongest axles on the planet," and that's a true statement. Um, performance side by side bushings, tie rods. I uh, did a <clears throat> one uh, a little bit different winch uh, Axon 5500 I believe it doesn't have a solenoid it just wires straight in it's really really nice the name of the buggy is 15 my uh, wife bought this essentially for our 15 year anniversary so <clears throat> name the uh, name the buggy 15 Pass Motorsport steering wheel love this steering wheel um, I've got it pretty much every part that I could cross over is on the Turbo S as well but uh, you can just see all the craftsmanship I mean it's just absolutely amazing I went with a PRP Alpha seat it's the first time I've ever had one of those prp straps but i love this seat it did really good yesterday it's it's a kind of a hybrid between a containment seat and a just a suspension seat but it, it is comfortable and it keeps you in there i uh, added door bags um, i did a gear grabber shifter um side by side radios um cb in it uh the razorback temp gauge and h was able to incorporate the ride command um, and this is uh my tablet fits here i took it off while i was washing it but uh, everything incorporates up here really really neat walker evan shock links h craft customs trailing arms uh, these trailing arms are amazing the design you basically get a few more inches than a lot of the others the way that he incorporates the, the shock mount into it um Another cool thing is he did he did this box so with the door bags and I'll show you another little storage area inside but I mean I can carry pretty much everything that I carried in a full body tool wise cooler wise in there uh, it's got a 10 gallon fuel cell in it too so I mean we can take it and go to the flats and Carryville and back to Winrock and um, not have to take fuel the ZRP pull plate, uh, ZRP radius rods, uh, Super ATV billet uh, carriers, and killer ball joints. I'm running those in both machines. Fuel cells back here. This is what I was 
talking about earlier with more storage so i've got more storage in here i've got a compressor toe strap uh battery tender tp one thing i think i'm going to do this week is i'm going to send the shocks off to g-force get a true dual rate spring kit on them and have uh, gary revalve them other than that, I think it's, I think it'll be ready to go, but it is absolutely amazing. Like I said, I uh, had an incredible time with it yesterday. It was so much different than, than a full body. In the shop here, we have um, parts for Ryan's machine. Um, there's an awful lot of wiring harness that's been cleaned up. I do have a little bit more wrapping just to do to try and uh, finish it up. Now I've got it off the machine, I can finish wrapping up where I had to alter a few little bits and pieces to make it fit from a standard 2 seater Turbo S into a 13 inch over uh, 103 buggy. And there's parts of Ryan's machine everywhere, brake this and battery and winch um, drive shafts or axles to you guys um, anti-roll bar sway bar uh, dampers water pipes radius rods here there and everywhere trailing arms upper wishbones radiators yep there are parts laid all over the shop for Ryan's machine this is a uh, Powered steering stuff down there. So, anyway, it's uh, all over the shop in pieces, and in the next couple of days, we've got to try and turn it all back into a complete machine. So, the chassis has been often been powder coated. Well, uh, since the reveal, we took it all apart to finish it properly. And so, in the next couple of days, we're going to try and get this all back together. I did drop the motor in just because I wanted to pick it up off the floor and put it in the machine so uh but it's all been powder coated a really nice crystal gray which i believe is the color of one of the razors anyway so it's all here it's ready to go and i'll document as much as possible of putting this thing together as a machine anyway we shall catch you later um at least one spare hole there for his horn it's all part of the road kit um Yesterday we got all of the rear suspension, well I say all, but uh, I haven't connected the drive shafts and stuff, but I'm, I'm getting fairly close on the rear end. Front end we're waiting on, well Ryan tells me I'm going to put in the prop shaft that I made, um, the drive shaft, prop shaft, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that means that I can now put the front end together. I was holding off hoping that the, the new um, Sandcraft one was going to show up, but uh, uh, we're running out of time to go and play with this thing. So um, maybe maybe I'll just build it with the one that I made, which seems to be working fine. It won't be as strong as the Sandcraft. It's just not nearly physically as big. But anyway, um, we'll get the one I made in and that will allow me to put the diff in and the front drive shafts and axles and then be able to um, put all the front end together. And then I'm really down to panels, seat and panels, because I'm about there. Anyway, there you go. I'll catch you later.